Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. For you really old school users out there that remember Windows 3.1 and you new school users too, you'll appreciate this, probably remember Recorder for Windows 3.1. Not Sound Recorder, Recorder, the one that did macros, the one we all loved. Well, the modern variant of that is Auto Hotkey. It's a freeware thing. And it's at autohotkey.com, at least I think it is. Let me just check to make sure. Autohotkey.com. Yes, it is. Okay, so autohotkey.com. If you want to get it, it's over there. Macros are awesome because you can assign things to keystrokes. You can assign things to replace text when you type a certain thing. It's useful if you're doing IRC, word processing, whatever. If you want to automate things in Windows, this is the best way to do it. If you want to automate it with just a single keystroke, this is the only way to do it. Now, uh, let me just show you a, a few examples of this using text sending. This is simple. So I have auto hotkey installed already. You right click, go to new, and then auto hotkey script. And I'll just type this one as text, uh, excuse me, test. Let me just close this out first. I right click and edit the script. Edit script is right there, and this is what it looks like by default. Launches Notepad, or your text editor of choice, and you go to the bottom and you start doing stuff. Now the easiest one to do, you can either send it one of two ways, possibly more ways, but these are the two that I know. By using the Win key, sometimes known as the Flag key, the one with the Windows logo on it on your keyboard, that plus another key, or you do Control alt and another key. I prefer to use control alt so I don't run over assigned uh, flag key designations by mistake. And Windows has quite a few of those like flag E is the explorer, uh, flag M is minimize, and uh, this, this other one, flag L is lock the workstation or log off, whatever that means. Anyway, so the way to do this is, this shows it right here, is caret exclamation point S colon colon. Now this may seem like total gibberish at first, but once you start getting used to writing scripts in this, it's actually really awesome. What this means is Control alt s will execute the command. So I'm going to copy that out of the help section here into here, and I'm going to change the s to an x. So that means Control alt x is going to execute what I'm about to do here. Now to send a piece of text with that hotkey, you have to type the word send first and then space. And then after that, whatever you want for it to type. So quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Enter a line and then you have to type return. If you don't do this, it won't release it. So you, this is so you can enter in some more commands below. Now in addition to X, I'll also assign C, which is the key right next to X, and send and I'll type uh, just one, two, three, f four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Return. Now, there's a couple other ones you can do in here too where it does text replacement. They show one here which is BTW. By the way, I'll do a couple of these. These have to be on single lines. If you try to do it on multiple lines, it'll give you an error. So you do colon, colon, BTW colon colon by the way. Do another one colon colon lol colon colon laughing out loud colon colon FTW for the win. Okay, so I have all this stuff here and I'll file and save and then I'm going to run it. So now the script is ready to run. I do so in my taskbar, I see an H. Test AHK, auto hotkey is now running. All right, so I'm just going to do this in Notepad just to keep it simple. The first one I'll do is my Control Alt X, which should be my quick brown fox. There it is. I'll press Enter. Now, if I do Control Alt C, that should be my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, now if I type 
what was my first one? Oh, BTW. It should automatically replace. It did. And the yellow L is the next one. There we go. And the FTW. There we go. That's awesome. That's wonderful. And you can do as many of these as you want. It's really useful. <laughs> if you, uh, Once you get to know this stuff, it's quite awesome. But let's say we want to do something really complicated. All right. This is where we need another piece of software. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is close this for the time being and bring up the Auto Script Writer 2. Now, this comes with Auto Hotkey. You need this if you're going to do some really complicated macros where you're recording text input, mouse input, and things like that. So uh, it usually looks like this. I highlight all three here. Window text, record mouse, record and shrink. Got to do it. And uh, what I'm going to do first is hit browse. Now I'm already in my Firefox directory. Actually, I'll show you an easier way to do this. If you click your start button and you just type in Firefox, for example, I need the path to put in the browse dialog here. So I right click Firefox and do properties and there is the absolute path so I which is the target on the shortcut. I copy this put that in here okay. Now when I hit record it's going to start Firefox. The best way to do stuff when you're recording window uh, excuse me mouse clicks is to maximize the application because if you don't the, where the mouse clicks may not land in the same spot because if it's <clears throat> if the window is in a windowed state, not a maximized state, it doesn't always land in the same place. If you don't get that, I don't know how else to say it. But anyway, okay, so we'll do record. Now the first thing that should happen when I hit record is that we'll launch Firefox. Alright, now I'm going to do Alt Space and X the key X so it maximizes the browser and then what I'm going to do is click HTTP google.com enter control T HTTP slash slash www.microsoft.com control T another tab HTTP slash slash www.apple.com control T uh, what's a Linux site? distro watch so distrowatch.com and then control actually I'll just leave that as is and hit stop okay and I will take Firefox out of maximized state and close okay look at all this stuff this is all the stuff <laughs> oh man there's no way we ever could have written this I suppose we could have it would have taken a long time so now I'm gonna highlight all this stuff right click and copy edit my test script minimize this and I will do this one as uh, F control alt F and then paste all that crap in there and at the end return you gotta remember to put the return at the bottom file save file exit alright now if all goes well let me just run this alright it ran if I do a control alt F, it should do everything that I told it to do. So crossing fingers, here we go. Yep, got it. Launch the browser, maximize the browser. First tab of Google, second tab Microsoft, third tab Apple, fourth tab Distro Watch. Did it like a charm. Bam 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 bam. Awesome. So you can do really simple macros or really complicated ones with auto hotkey. It's a good piece of software to know. Take it easy.